Hey y'all. Say hey. I don't feel like talking. I got a headache. Oh, she don't feel like talking. She got a headache. But we wanted to take y'all with us to our favorite store, Walmart. Because we got another cooking video coming up. We get ready to make. Well, she's getting ready to make. Um, is Cheesecake Factory's um, recipe. It's not their recipe, but it's like a copycat recipe. Or their red velvet cheesecake. And y'all look. Huh? Like, why can't you just say a red velvet cheesecake? You don't have to let everybody know my secrets. They don't know where it come from. It's a copycat recipe, but they don't know where it come from. Oh, shut up. Y'all look. Look what we got. We still can't lay on it until tomorrow. We had to let it air for 48 hours. We got a mattress. The live room is coming along. We already got our comfort set. We got that about a month ago. So, stay tuned. Just she coming fast. So we get ready to go to Walmart. We gonna take y'all along for the ride. And when we come back, we're gonna record this good old video. And y'all gotta make sure y'all subscribe, thumbs it up, and share. And let us know if y'all try any of these recipes. Just let us know. Because we like to know. Do you see y'all Walmart? Came back home. Then pull the camera out because we were just so indulged in our conversation. But y'all gonna get two recipes. You might not get the cake tonight, but y'all still have to stay tuned to part two to see the cake. But we got a little special. It shouldn't take too. me that long, hopefully, because I won't get it over with. So it can be done by Friday. Oh well, we're making a cake tonight too, so y'all see the sweet tart. But y'all still gotta watch part two to see the cake. So <laughs> part two to see the cheese cake. But we have her cutting up some Granny Smith apples. Cause we get ready to have apple pay, a, a, apple tarts. We just gonna take the granny. She peeling and cutting the granny Smith apples, and we got um some pastry puff sheet, puff pastry sheets. Then we gonna line them up on some parchment paper on a cookie sheet. Put our apples on the top. Sprinkle some brown sugar on the top, and bake it in the oven for like twenty minutes. So we're trying to wait till she get done so we can show you all the setup. Then I gotta leave back. I go to Walmart, y'all. We went all the way to Walmart. Got home, realized we had the food coloring, so I called Walmart and we left a lot. We left our vinegar and the food coloring. So yeah, that's what happens when you are having a good conversation. We were just laughing all day, <laughs> and she's silly as hell. Not, hmm? not even funny. And we ain't cooked dinner today. We had some Thai food. I had some pie tie, I think that's what it's called. Spicy with some chicken. And she had some curry. Y'all, we had some Thai iced tea. It was so good that I made out of clothes. I was gonna say, I'm gonna stop and grab us another one when I leave back out to go get our stuff from Walmart. Sneaky. So I'm gonna go pick up our vinegar, then return the food coloring that we left there because we don't need it. And then return these cake pans. We bought cake pans because we can't find the cake pans. And I forgot and I put them under the stove. <laughs> Don't make that face. It's just rude. So we're going to come back and show y'all what it looks like when we stack the stuff up. Then I got to get up out of here. All right, we back, y'all. She got her little stuff together. Wow, well, little apple tart. This is a vegan dessert too, y'all. Even yeah, the first just, thing we had. Yeah, some puff pastry shells. When you take these out, they're gonna be in uh, like pieces because they always break for some reason. But when you let it sit out and get uh, the apple shit all in it already. This is apple gonna be one day, girl. Like when you let it sit out and get room temperature though, you'll be able to like mold it together like I did right here. And then what you wanna do? My apples are already stuck in ground. You just put your apples on there. You can let them open. You already limpy? Foot girl, I don't know what happened just now. All right, you just place them on there. I like to overlap them a little bit. You don't have to do that. I really don't care. It's better to use Granny Smith apples, honestly, and that's coming from me. I really don't care for them because they're too damn bitter. But it's better to use these with not only this, but apple pie too because... It holds sweetness very well, and that mixture of sweet and a little tanginess from the Granny Smiths 
actually works very well. I tried it with some Gala apples and what's some other apples that kind of look like Gala apples? Pink ladies, I think it was. Yeah. It was good, but it wasn't as good because, like I said, Granny Smith just got that little tang to it. But it was good. It was just too damn sweet. Yeah, it was like extremely sweet. Yeah, it wasn't nasty. It was good. If you like sweet, then by all means necessary, use any kind of apple but Granny by Smith. sweet, I mean like... Sugar Rush. You let your goddamn kid make some Kool-Aid back in the day when I still used to like Kool-Aid when I was a kid. It's a healthy, it extra like sweet. 18 cups of sugar in it. Then we're not sugar eat sweet eaters, so it might not be sweet to somebody else. Yeah. Because we don't eat a lot of Sweet stuff. sweets. My like, definition of a snack is a sandwich. I'm a fat ass, so. I can eat fruit all day. Like, I sit down and eat up five pound bag of cherries in one sitting in about two minutes. 60 plus. <laughs> <laughs> over, over peaches. <laughs> That's my definition of a snack. <laughs> or oh, some sweet potato, a sweet potato. Bake it in the oven with some pecans on top and some brown sugar. <laughs> Just cut it in butt. That's my definition of a snack. Alright, in case you was wondering how many uh, Granny Smiths I use, I use like two medium I'm going to show you other sides. Granny apples. Smiths. Alright, y'all coming along with me. But we use two apples this size. Not regular size apples. See? There's no way one's okay. Oh, it ain't seen me in one, but that's the Granny Smith. Yeah. yeah, we got dishes in the sink. That's her lunch bowl and cup. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a child. I need a lunchbox. We ain't been home. Um, alright, now you want it to look like that? You just layer them on there. Um, just wash my hands so let me dry them. Where's the brown sugar bag? Right oh, there. Right my face. Looking right at you. I took it down for you. Oh, we got the oven set at 375. Oh, that's a sneak peek of part two of this video right there. <laughs> and we just want to say thank you to all the support we had thus far. We really appreciate it, y'all. Yeah, it means a lot. I never would have thought that we would even have 100 followers. Right, we had like 132. We thought we were just going to have three. <laughs> Alright, now I like to just put this in my hand and sprinkle it because I got dumping issues and I don't want it to be ridiculous. But you just sprinkle this all over it. Um, however you want to do it, that's fine with me. If you want to dump it, that's fine. Sometimes it come out of clumps like it's doing now even in my hand. Y'all know, I just noticed. Well, not y'all, but babe. That best choice must be a, a some type of brand because we got them that fruit from Price Cutters. I mean Price Choppers. That came from Price Cutters and it's best choice. Hmm. And they're not the same chain of market. Well, I'm glad that your attention span is that great because mine is not. Yeah, because that came. I bought that and we went to the store that day when I was running the snack. Oh, I want to vent about something real quick too that I picked up on that. Yeah, see what she doing. I'm bringing it back up to her. Um. I don't know what it is with adults and not being able to take responsibility when they fuck up, but it's very irritating. Like, I was at work today, and I'm not going to say his work because he's first art. Fuck it. He was a first art. Um, and, I mean, I don't know if any of y'all know how a board procedure works. I'm just learning how to do it myself. And uh, we get to the board proceeding. I'm just thrown into this shit yesterday. I just got to my unit, whatever. I'm not complaining. I'm going to make it do what it do because that's what I do. Um, you adapt and drop the fuck on. But I get there, shit is fucked up. One of the first arms don't show up. Whatever. Too easy. My sergeant major bull and hot man. He ain't mad at me because he already know I'm new. But anyway, back to this fuck boy. He gets in there. Oh, somebody emailed me about the MOI, but nobody got back to me. Basically, the MOI is just a layout to say this first arm, this first arm, and that first arm. It's normally four of them to sit on the board of the sergeant major. Um are going to cover however many subjects. It's normally like four to five subjects per first arm. Instead of him just saying, hey, I'm going to pick a subject, he want to bitch and whine about it like a little kid because he wasn't man enough or responsible enough to just pick a fucking subject. You know, so, I mean, nobody in the Army could beat your ass, pull your pants down and whip your butt. So I just don't understand it, but all too often I'm seeing this a lot. Like, if you're an adult and you make a mistake, just say you made a fucking mistake. Like... 
you know, I didn't go in there and tell my sergeant major, oh, somebody just threw me into this today and I didn't know anything. I just went in there and told him, you know, I'm new, I'm still learning. So whatever advice you have, I'm more than open and willing to accept it. And he said, Roger that, and I appreciate it. I'm not upset with you. It's not your fault. And I said, okay. And he gave me some shit. I wrote it down in my little notepad, and I kept it moving. I'm not going to go back and forth with this man about who fought it was, because I really don't give a shit. It's not that deep. But that's my rant for the day. Own up to your shit when you're an adult. Like, come on now. Children lie because they're scared of getting their ass beat. What you lying for? What you old for that shit? But I guess I wouldn't understand, because I was never a liar, even if it meant I would get an ass whipping. I just got immune to ass whippings. You hear that, my man? <laughs> she was I a bee. I the reason why my mom stopped beating her kids because it don't work. All right, I'm sorry. But this is what it looks like all after right. all the brown sugar. Booyah. Me. Now, you don't got to feel like every little piece of apple because at the end of the day, it's all going... Do I want to say caramelize? That's what it does. Okay, it's going to caramelize and... It's going to like form like this little wet, sticky substance of gooey goodness. And it's just going to cover the whole thing anyway. So, boom. There you have it. Well, we got the oven set at 375. Don't mind the sugar on the stove. Oh, you see the when you make paper. this, you want to use some parchment paper or something to put down on this. And whatever you do, don't just put the parchment paper in your oven and stick this on top of it. Because... Like I said, this stuff caramelizes and it will completely fuck up the bottom of your oven. Well, the Dollar if Tree, they got the best out, oven color. If you want to scrape cleaner. it out some sticky stuff, because we did it at our last apartment, that shit was everywhere. So you want to put it on something. Like you a, got a good cookie sheet, sheet. Or something like that. Parchment paper at the Dollar Store. Then you just pop this in. I'm not going to give you all a time frame because I don't fucking know. You just put it in until it browns. Once it browns, you take it out. Alright, and then... If y'all need to go other cleaner, Dollar Tree. <laughs> hey, hey. And I'm going to show y'all a little quick, uh, give y'all a little quick rundown of part two of this video for her cheesecake she got coming up. We got, go ahead, come on, let's do a grocery haul for the cheesecake. Hold up. Give me a second. All right, my boo went to the store, so I'll go ahead and record this piece for her. When you take it out, it's going to have like some little liquidy look to it. See how that's just running all along or whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, I think I might have took it out too soon, but I'm not sure. You could just sit there and let this um, harden or whatever, but I think I'm going to put it back in because I think I took it out too fast. All right, y'all. I took it back out, and to say the least, it still looks the same, honestly. Uh, you can see the um, brown sugar like bubbling around it. You just want to give that like 10, 10, maybe 15 minutes at the most to like harden and stuff. And then you can go ahead and enjoy it.